Can this Tampa Bay pass rush wreck the game Sunday in the Super Bowl? Yeah, agree. They can if, if Andy Reid and Eric Bieniemy don't allow those tackles to uh, go one on one. Rimmers, Wiley, they can't handle Shaq Barrett and JPP. There's a reason they're not starters in this league. But Greeny, guess what? If I know that, Bart knows that, and Swagoo knows that. You know who else knows that, Greeny? Eric Bieniemy and Andy Reid. So expect Travis Kelsey to do what Bart Scott said. Throw that hamburger helper against JPP's ribs. Uh, the running back's going to come out. He's going to chip. Andy Reid knows that if he lines up and goes five on four with this defensive line, he will not win. He also knows that Patrick Mahomes will be on his back. So, Greeny, expect a lot of help, a lot of chips, and a lot of slide protections to make sure that JPP and Shaq Barrett and Vita Vea inside don't wreck this game. Great. So that makes all the sense in the world. But, Bart Scott, let's teach the folks a little football here. How much does that impact what Kansas City wants to do offensively? If they have to use their tight end, their, their all-world tight end to chip, if they have to use their backs, now they can't send all the people out into their creative passing game they usually do. How much does that impact Kansas yeah. City's offense? It's a huge impact, Greeny, and it means that Mahomes is going to have to be quick and decisive with the football. And, you know, guys like Harmon and, and Sammy Watkins and Tyreek Hill is going to have to win at the line of scrimmage. You know, with that being said, the counter to that is make sure that you get up in their face and play two-man because the check is whenever you're off on Tyreek Hill, he's going to get on you so fast that the vertical shot is there. But whenever, you know, they see that you're up tight, he's going to come with the quick slant you know, be able to get his best athlete in space against yours. So what you're going to have to make sure that you do is you're going to have to challenge them at the line of scrimmage. The offensive, the defensive line and the back end has to be tied on a string. And they have to make sure Vita Veda, uh, Golson has to make sure they don't allow Mahomes to step up and buy time with his feet, stepping up and stepping out because you know that the guys on the outside are going to be going for broke. So when you do that, you create running lanes. The same running lanes that Mahomes is going to have is going to be the same throwing um, lanes that he has as well. So you got to make sure that you close those things up. Make sure whenever the quarterback gets, you get the quarterback depth, you have to be able to spin back because his legs are the last thing to leave the hole. So you have to have to retrace and retrace re your steps to get back to Mahomes to make him have a tough day. Well, Marcus, it's an interesting thought. Last year in the postseason, Patrick Mahomes running with the football was a huge factor in their games. Hasn't been as much this year. He's had a toe injury that we'll get to for in a minute. But how much of a factor do you expect that to be? If the pass rush is getting to him, should we be expecting to see Mahomes running with the football a lot? Most definitely, G. And we've seen him raise his level and pull out new tools. Uh, through games and situations that he's needed them. And I think that's why we enamor with Patrick Mahomes, honestly, because we've seen him adjust to every situation in the NFL. And listen, there would be no other team in the NFL that we would think would win this game outside of the Kansas City Chiefs, and it's because of Patrick Mahomes. You telling me that a depleted offensive line is about to play in the Super Bowl against one of the top five pass rushing teams in the NFL, and we not sitting here talking about the trouble that the Kansas City Chiefs are going to have? No, because of 15 and his mobility and the way Andy Reid and Eric Bieniemy calls plays as well. They are not going to allow these dudes to get going, pin their ears back. The best thing for the Kansas City Chiefs will be Patrick Mahomes' ability to move, slide, take 10 to 15 yards when he can run down the field and put that secondary level def defense in no man's land. Do we come up? and tackle Patrick Mahomes and he goes over our head to Tyreek or Travis Kelsey? Or do we allow him to pick up this first down and live to play some more downs as opposed to giving up the explosive plays? Patrick Mahomes will equalize this thing, trust me. Yeah, but he's going to be without one of his most important teammates. Again, Eric Fisher, uh, who was the, the starting left tackle who was out for this, who tore his Achilles. They have only taken 18 snaps this season without him on the field. They all came after that injury against Buffalo. So that's a huge factor. And, Dan, let's go back to the injury to Mahomes. We all forgot about the toe because he had the, the concussion or at right. least was in the concussion protocol coming out of the Cleveland game. How, if at all, do we expect that toe injury to impact his ability to use his mobility in the Super Bowl? The Chiefs felt like it had some impact on his ability to move around in the AFC Championship game. Obviously, it didn't cost them anything uh, in that game. They won it easily. But he talked earlier this week about it starting to feel better, about how the rest, the extra week between the conference championship game and the Super Bowl had been good for it, and he expects it to feel better on Sunday than it did the last time he was out there. He, he kept saying close to 100%, so it's possible that it will affect him at least in some small way, especially if he has to move around a lot. But the anticipation is that it will be better, in, be in better shape than it was against Buffalo. All right, so that's something to take out of this. Maybe Mahomes using his legs becomes a bigger factor in this game than it has been so far in the playoffs. So 
We've spent pretty much the whole week focusing on the Tampa defense against the Kansas City offense. How about the reverse? How about the flip side when Tampa Bay has the football and that means the GOAT is on the field? Tom Brady going up against a Steve Spagnuolo defense. And historically, that's not been a good matchup for Brady. You see it there. He's 2-3 and three in his career against Spags, as he is known. That is the worst record he has against any defensive coordinator. In those five games, you see the numbers. Just nine touchdowns, 13 sacks. His QBR is much lower than usual. One of these games was the Super Bowl, the legendary one where the Patriots were 18-0 and the Giants' uh, pass rush, which they call the NASCAR passage, a package, shut them down, held them to 14 points in the game. Booger, how similar is this? We keep talking about Tampa Bay's defense. What do we expect Kansas City's defense to do up against Brady? Well, Greeny, that NASCAR package that you referenced was tough, human, Euro, straight hand. Like, they were dominant up front. I don't know if this Kansas City defensive line can be as dominant all the way around. Chris Jones has been pretty consistent. Frank Clark has been inconsistent throughout the season. Can they rev it up? Can they turn it up in the Super Bowl? This offensive line of Tampa Bay is, is one of the more underrated units uh, in the NFL, one of the better units. you got Donovan Smith, Ali Marpet, and a guy who should get Rookie of the Year consideration in Tristan Wirfs. That This is going to be the more underrated matchup of the game. We're all going to focus on the other side. Can Vita Vea and JPP get to Patrick Mahomes? But if Frank Clark and Chris Jones can't move Tom Brady off the spot, and now Spags has to blitz, you got to bring Sorensen, you got to bring Tyron Matthew on the back end. I know the Chiefs defensive secondary has played really, really well in man coverage lately, but I think the Buccaneers and Tom Brady can exploit it. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.